Hey everyone, and again, thanks for joining us for another tech video. Uh, today we'll be covering first level programming uh, on the CSB Extreme board on the Maxima. Uh, just real quick, before you even touch this board or do anything with this board, make sure you check out our video for the mechanical setup uh, before you try to power it on or even move this thing. Um, just a little quick overview of the control board. This right here is your light board, right? So this is what controls your crown and your boom light. If you wanna just take a look more or less for your wiring. All right, right over here is your Clonix plug, it's not plug, it's built in, excuse me, your Clonix receiver. Um, and there's also a video right up here of how to program your BFT middle remotes to the Clonix receiver. Um, and just, you know what, while we're here, another quick tip, uh, you notice all your LEDs over here for your close, your open and all that. Uh, you want to make sure that when you're not giving it an open command, so whatever access control unit or whatever it is you're using to tell this thing to open, uh, whenever you're not giving it a command, there should not be a light there. There should not be a little small light. There should not be a faint light. It should be off. If you're still getting some sort of faint light, you're getting backwards voltage fed into this board and you should connect an isolation relay. All right, without further ado, let's get into our programming. Um, in order to get into your first level programming, uh, you have three buttons. You have your function button, your minus button, and your plus button. In order to get into the unit, I'm correcting from an earlier video, you just push and hold the F button for a few seconds, and you get to your first level, first option in the programming, which is LO. LO you would use, of course, um, to change it to like a dead man switch, or to make it semi-automatic, or to make it automatic. Okay, in order to scroll through your menu, you will continue to hit F. So we're still in first level, but you hit F and we went to the next one, uh, which this is, I actually ended up using this. This was a lifesaver because I had a customer that his loop detector was not giving a pulse on exit. It would pulse right away every time. So in here, you can actually change how your close input is put. So you can make it like, you know, you get an automatic close input, but it will not close until the close input goes away and then it'll close for you. So this is a handy little setup that you have there. Uh, the next one will be FT. This is your photo cell uh, programming. Uh, so you can change more or less how the safeties work. Uh, the next one will be your encoder, EC. Uh, this is, you know, you can turn off the encoder. Uh, you can change what it does. Like let's say for instance, when it's closing, it'll hit something, it'll stop and rewind, open up, wait five seconds and close, or just, you know, you can have it where it just backs up and waits for you to give it a command. Of course, you have encoder sensitivity, uh, you know, just to show you more or less how to be able to maneuver this. If you wanna change the encoder sensitivity, after you get to encoder sensitivity, you just push plus or minus to change it what you'd like, right? Once you choose the number you would like, you hit F to select it, and then you get back to the last menu option. Now you can keep scrolling down. The next one would be PF. This is like a warning light or a flashing light. Uh, this is normally something that's connected over here to your outputs which we'll go over again in your second level programming. Um, then the next option obviously is LB. This is your arm and headlights, right? So this is what happens with your boom lights uh, when the arm is moving down or up. So it may, it'll make it flash, not flash, and so forth. So this is where you'll change more or less how your arm act or the, the lights on your arm acts. Uh, TP, this is basically your, your closing delay, your time delay. Uh, so, you know, you can go from uh, zero to 99 seconds. Uh, as far as how long you want the arm to close before it gets an input to open. Uh, that's, of course, if you're using the automatic. Next will be PB. This is your arm light brightness. So you can go, you know, 40%, 60%, 80%, 100% brightness. The next one is CO. This is your cap light when open. All right. This is your cap light when closed. And, of course, you can scroll through this and see how many different colors we have. I believe it's 22 or 23 different options. All right, go back to red while closed. All right, select it so it stays red. And then of course, your next option right here. So if you ever need to default the board, it's in your first level programming DF, right? You change it to a one and then click F to select it. One more time, whenever you see ST, you got to the end of the menu. And then one more push will save all of your settings and exit the menu. All right, thank you very much.